Okay, in this video we're going to look at the following proposition. So it relates the order of a power of an element with the order of the original element. And so we're going to start with the GCD of A and N equals 1, and obviously A and N are appropriate natural numbers or integers as needed. Um, and we have the order uh, modulo N of A to the kth power, so that will be equal to the order modulo N of A divided by the GCD of K and the order of A modulo N. Okay, good. So uh, let's look at the proof. So for ease of notation, we're going to start off by setting D equal to this GCD. So we have the GCD of K um, and the order of N modulo, sorry, the order of A modulo N. And so now what I want to notice here is that because D is the greatest common divisor of these two numbers, that means D is a divisor of these two numbers, which tells us that uh, we have the following like really simple observation that um, maybe, maybe we should point out because otherwise some of our calculations will look a little bit suspicious, and that is that K over D and the order modulo n of a over d, these are both natural numbers. Because k is a natural number, this order is a natural number, and then d is a divisor of each. So when you divide it out, you still get a natural number. Okay, so now that we have all of this set up, we can um, build our argument based on two facts. And uh, maybe one of them is as follows. So we'll take a to the k to the power of the order uh, modulo n of a divided by d. And so again, notice that this is a natural number. So taking it to this exponent is allowed. And now using exponent rules, we can simplify this a little bit. So this is a to the order modulo n of a all of that to the k over d power. Okay, great. But that is equal to 1 to the k over d power. And again, that's a natural number. So if we raise 1 to a natural number, we get that this is all congruent to 1 mod n. Okay, great. So from this, we can like really quickly see that the order... Uh, so I'll write this down and then um, we will like uh, explain why this is true. So the order of A to the K divides the order um, of A divided by B, D. So we had a previous proposition that um, built this. So if you raise something uh, to an exponent and you see that you get 1, it means the order of this element must divide that exponent. In other words, the order of this element must divide this exponent, so that's what we have here. So we have this division property. So I will number this as 1 because we're going to need it for later. Okay, so now fact number 2 is as follows. If we take a to the k times the order of a to the k, Okay, so that is equal to a to the k to the power of the order of a to the k. Again, using some exponent rules, but then by the definition of the order, this is congruent to 1 modulo n. Okay, great. And now we're going to use this uh, same rule that this exponent must divide the order of this element. So in other words, we can take, um, sorry, the order of this element must divide this exponent. So we have the order of A must divide K times the order of A to the K. Okay, great. So the next thing that we want to do is divide both sides of this thing by uh, the greatest common divisor of k and the order of a, in other words, by d. And so this is allowed by some general properties of divisibility in the greatest common divisor, so I won't go over that. So that tells us the following. The order 
of A divided by D must divide K over D times the order of A to the K. Great. So we know that this is a natural number, this is a natural number, and then this is a natural number because it's the greatest common divisor. It is a divisor of the order of A. Okay, great. So now let's number this 2. Okay, now uh, the next thing that we want to notice is that <clears throat> the order of A divided by D and the and k over d, they are relatively prime because we've divided out their greatest common divisor. So what that tells us is that this equation, we can cancel the k over d. So we know that order of a over d cannot divide k over d because their GCD is 1. So that means it must divide the other one. So we have the order of A over D must divide the order of A to the K. Okay, good. And so let's call that equation 3. And now let's look at equation 1 and equation 3. And notice that we have mutual divisibility, right? So order of a to the k divides this quotient, and now this quotient divides the order of a to the k, which means that they are the same. In other words, the order of a to the k is equal to the order of a divided by d. But that's exactly what, what we wanted to show after we have our setup. Okay, good. So that's the end of this proof.